What's going on everybody? Jade up here. Uh, today's video is going to be over uh, Silent Plus 2 off tanking positioning guide. Uh, basically what I'm going to be going over is the gear I'm running, uh, the skills I'm using, the pots, the different pots I'm using, and the way to position yourself in certain situations. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into gear. Uh, the gear I'm using is Abin Alkosh with Earthcore. You could use uh, Chudan, Engine Guardian, or whatever. Whatever you see fit that you may need. Blood Spawn's also decent too. I just like Earthcore for oh shit moments. Abin's really nice for your for your um, your group to give them that extra 1100 uh, health if you have your gear golded out. If you don't, it's only about 1k and some change. So right now I'm about to slow this video down and show you uh, the safe spot to stand. This is one of the safe spots right here. All right. And then the other set I'm running is uh, Alkosh. And but you can run you can run Dragon or even Alteration Mastery too. Those two are actually really good. So this is a spot I like to run right here to sit there and stack Lothus right on the edge of his tail. Uh, be careful when taunting Lothus at this spot because sometimes you will um, hit Ohms' tail. And yes, it's actually a thing and you will actually end up taunting Ohms sometimes. So just be uh, aware of that. Uh, as far as uh, we're about to slow it down again because we're about to come back up on uh, another safe spot. This is a safe spot. Uh, you only get hit by about two or three of them. Uh, if you spread out, just if I would have went forward just a little bit more uh, to right where his uh, foot was at, I probably would only get a hit by one, one or two. But I ended up getting hit by three. But since we have such a good heal, uh, health pool, about 40k, we can get hit by three and be fine. So uh, um, we're going to talk about the timers. Uh, as you can see on Lothus, uh, Lothus, St. Lothus, on the very top of the timers at the bottom of the screen, uh, it has a green, reddish, white, uh, white numbers, and then it has bigger white numbers. So the far left one, the green one, is the uh, Lothus cone, which is a poison cone. He shoots at random to one random person, and we're gonna freeze. We're gonna slow this down again and uh, just kind of show you what to do uh, when we when we get storms in the heaven and get knocked back and all that stuff. So again, uh, the green one is the cone. It usually procs about every 20 seconds. So just to keep that in mind, if you are on PC, if you're on console, you're just going to have to count in your head. Um, that's what I had to do on console, and, you, and then you just get a feel for it. The red one is the ability here that, um, that he just tried to do that I ended up bashing, which uh, basically what he does is he raises, excuse me, he raises his staff up in the air, and he shoots out uh, poison balls at people. So you want to make sure that you get that interrupt. The one right next to it, uh, to the right of that red one, is um, is his jump mechanic. So basically what Lothus does is he jumps randomly to one of the four locations, which uh, at the end of this video, I will throw up an image of where all the DPS need to kite and uh, and all that stuff and uh, then i'll have like little circles where lothus uh, can teleport to uh, if you pay close attention you can actually see a little green line to where he's going to teleport to uh, but uh, more than likely you're not gonna you're not gonna pay attention to that especially when you're trying to get this cleared um so again uh getting ready to kite uh, i mean i usually so i'm gonna slow these down on like a, only a few to show you how I kite and stuff like that, the storms of heaven. So hopefully it helps you guys out uh, watching this and, and seeing it slowed down. Uh, as far as uh, Falms and his timers, as you can see, it's counting down from eight, seven, six, five, right? So that timer there is actually his jump mechanic as well. It uh, it starts at twenty seconds and counts down to zero. And then, um, and then the timer to the right is his uh, enrage, his enrage uh, timer. So if he hits three minutes, he's going to enrage. 
Um, the the timers are white, yellow, orange, and then red. Uh, white means he's not close to enrage. Yellow means he's getting closer. Orange means that he's going to enrage within about 10, 10 seconds. And red means that he's enraged. Uh, the timer right above that, that that was green and just turned blue. Green means that he's um, that uh, the mini is about to pop up, so get ready. Blue means he's literally about to pop up in about a few seconds, so get ready to bash or whatever. If Thumbs is jumping, then get ready for be prepared. The purple one right next to Storms of Heaven is uh, obviously the big AOE that we sit there and kite. So this one right here that I'm kiting, that is the Storms of Heaven. It happens roughly around 30 seconds. Um, so just be aware of that and, uh, you know, just kind of watch your timers. If you're on PC, if you're on Xbox, just get a feel for them. Uh, the main tank should be able to time the every 30 seconds. Uh, I, I was able to do it when I main tanked it. Um, so I don't see a reason why anybody can't do it. Just set your phone up and have the timer ready. Um, so as far as pots that I'm using, I was using um, speed pots, speed and health pots, which are basically speed was the essence of speed pots that have um, they give me about a thousand health every uh, every second or so. Uh, they're really nice pots. Uh, they didn't cost me too much. Probably, I don't know, 15, 20K or something like that. I mean, before 200. It wasn't, like, horrible. Since I'm not going to use them too much, uh, they'll probably last a good minute. But the, these pots actually are pretty helpful and really and really nice to use. So definitely uh, consider getting those if you're going to off-tank this. Swift Jewelry. It's also nice if you can uh, afford the geodes. I don't have I don't have it. I think I have still two harmony one infused right now, and it worked it worked pretty fine when I when I got a uh, uh, blood altar or something like that. I just got a crap ton of health back. As you can see right here, I activated it and I was just like super low on health, and I ended up uh, getting all the way back to full health with just uh, with the with the harmony. Um. As far, uh, yeah, so we used the, the speed pots. I did use uh, Essence of Lingering pots, I believe, once or twice here, but I'm not 100% sure. I know I used them on the on the run before uh, that we did, or excuse me, the run after that we did. Uh, this was all during, I, I recorded this all during stream. Um, the, the, the run after it, I know I used it quite a bit because they, they enraged, both minis enraged. Uh, we, we got down too many people died, but I ended up using essence of, uh, lingering health pots in here. They are super, super nice and they do help out a lot. Uh, and then I also did use tricep pots for, uh, issues that I had for management. Sometimes I was running and using a lot of magicka and stuff like that. I did end up using those and, uh, ended up getting back to full health pretty quick. Or pre, uh, back to, uh, to full health and, and uh, stam and magic are pretty quick. Uh, other than that, um, trying to think right quick if there's anything else I need to talk about. Uh, as far as as far as positioning uh, for the off tank, uh, I've slowed it down numerous times on where to stand. If you need to go go back and rewind that, you're more than welcome to. Obviously, they hopefully that helps out. Um, laying down blood altar uh, does help a lot whenever um, whenever you get a chance that you're going to be standing in one spot for a hot minute definitely go ahead and throw down that blood altar it does help out tons of people um, this is a good spot that I like to run to right here where I'm at now to try and stack Lothus I know Lothus is about to teleport right now mainly because when he as soon as he spawns he does he does one of two things he either does a cone immediately or his, excuse me he'll he'll try and do his aoe attack where or his uh, attack where he raises his staff up in the air and shoots people with poison he'll do that at mechanic first the second mechanic he'll do he'll either jump to a random spot or uh he'll do cone so it's it's one of those two abilities that he'll do after he does that uh, poison uh, the poison attack so just be aware of that and be ready for that. 
Um, if the biggest tip that I can give you, if you're on a PC is to really pay attention to the timers. They are just incredible. They help you out a lot for my console folks that uh, are watching this on console. Uh, I, I mean, honestly, just get a feel for it. Um, just get a feel for when Lothus does his attacks. Yeah, and you and you can do it if you do it long enough. I think it took me a few days to to get used to when Lothus was going to do certain attacks. I mean, you you will not be able to time anything as an off tank if somebody tells you to time shit as an off tank. Tell them to basically screw off because you're constantly moving and you're not always standing at one spot more than a few seconds. So if they and by the time that you need to time something, um, it's ridiculous because by the time you need to like time something, you're you're already having to move again. So somebody else can time it, whether it's the uh, you know tank healer or the back healer. Um, usually the back healer and the main tank can usually time stuff. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of anything else that. Uh, can really help you guys out uh, for off tanking this. Um, obviously, a bunch of health is going to help out. You know, 40k is more than enough health. Obviously, as you can see there at 40k with plus a horn, as at 43k health, uh, it's that's more than enough uh, health. I was still able to hit that blood altar and be good. Um, yeah, I think that's roughly about it. Uh, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out and let you guys hear the callouts that I made and the teammates made. Um, there are some people in here speaking Chinese, so if you do hear that, um, you know, you know, cool. If you understand it, if not, whatever. Um, other than that, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, or anything like that, definitely... Uh, leave them in the comment section below, and I will uh, respond to them as quickly as I can. I usually respond uh, within up to an hour to five hours. Uh, at, th at the very latest, I'll respond within five hours. Um, that's usually about how much time I get sleeping anyway. So, um, yeah, other than that, um, thank you again for watching, and hopefully this video helped some of you off tanks out there first time going in or just going in there and just getting wrecked. Hopefully this helps you out. Uh, other than that, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.
Let's Both this one rages in 30 seconds. Alright, alright, we come back to this side today. Just focus up, don't die here. Bones on me. Get ready to kite. Get that interrupt if you can. Exit side sphere, just play safe. Don't die. Cone block, block. Take a couple sphere. Focus on two percent. Burn, don't get the roses. You're gonna have to do one more sphere. Exit side. Everyone on the block, side. block, stop moving, block. Last sphere, okay. It's now impale this piece of shit. <laughs> Okay. Oh, nice. Fuck this guy, fuck you, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, got oh. some clues. Oh my god! Oh my god! She's gonna die. So, where's fire stuff? Go it up, Nitro. What's going on, guys? She, 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 she. I'm very happy. <laughs> Am I still feeling sick? Uh, not really. I'm about to take some more medicine. Can you get an info now? Here in a second. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital.